Hi, it's Louise. Today I have a little demo for you. I want to show you what I do with scraps of collage material and how I use those in an exercise that sometimes feeds my work. I'm going to be um, switching the camera around and going over to my desk to do that, but I wanted to say hi first. Don't forget if you love my videos to hit subscribe if you're watching on YouTube or to hit follow or like if you're on Facebook or Instagram to make sure that you see the videos when I post them. Um, there's always more coming. So let's go over. I just want to switch the camera around and show you what's going on in my studio at the moment. It's a little bit messy, but it's a creative mess. And then we will go over to my desk and I'll show you this little collage trick. So here is my studio, um, absolute chaos, paintings and exercises on the floor, things on the wall. Um, it's actually tidier than it sometimes is. I've started trying to tidy up my painting table. Uh, this file cabinet's got nowhere to go. I need to find a place for that. My kettle, very important. My notice board, when people send me nice cards and letters, I put them all on this notice board and it's lovely to see them. And canvases and panels waiting to be put away. Uh, my coat and my bag, my computer just propped up there. Look at this mess here. Uh, everything that I've had out recently just piled up. And my desk here is where we're gonna be working. So I'm going to put the camera up over the desk and then we'll get started. So if you've watched my videos before, you've seen me work in these concertina books. I have quite a lot of these on the go, but I also work in other kinds of sketchbooks, all kinds of sketchbooks. This one is a Canson mixed media pad. This paper will take a lot of glue and paint and stuff. So this is one where I do experiments. And one of the things I do in this book, this is a warm up exercise sometimes. It's also sometimes a, um, if I'm just not in the mood to start paintings or when I'm between series. So I've just finished a series of paintings and I'm looking for the next theme or idea. And so I work in these books. And I don't do this stuff to sell. I just do it for my own exploration, fun. And I have this box. So I have all sorts of collage materials. This is like a, a shoebox type thick size. But when you're collaging, you are always using paper and leaving some that you don't use. So any little scraps of paper go in here. And this then is a source of materials for me to pull out and use in this sketchbook and i'll show you what i do i'm halfway through one here so um i'm work i work on just these collages here is an example of a recent one that's not quite finished yet but this is a bit of a painting i did this is some collaged on tissue paper this is some paper that somebody kindly sent me, some collage paper that I've used, a piece of an old letter. Um, and there's another one. And I just do these as little exercises to see if they bring up any ideas. And to use up these scraps of paper because it seems a waste not to use them. So I've just stuck a few things down, but it's very uh, loosey-goosey. No pressure. And I usually try and say if I pick something up, I need to use it. So that really means I'm not trying to make these into finished pieces because obviously forcing myself to use things means that sometimes uh, it's not going to work out very well. Don't use your fingers for glue the way I do. Uh, it just means a lot of washing your hands. and uh, But it, I just don't have the patience really for other things. So if I've picked up a piece from the box, then I have to use it. And then I'm allowed to paint over. Um, and I can't take anything that's not a scrap. So I can't go digging in my drawer and find something else 
um, because that's not part of the rules. But I can draw the top of it or paint over top of it with other things. Got this nice letters that somebody kindly sent me. Would that go with this or would it be a bit too much? I don't know. I like that pattern of the dots against this kind of it is it's this it is a pattern but it's a it's an organic rather than a structured pattern unlike that one um feel that bit in do i want some text on here i'm fishing in here looking for some text i don't always have the kind of thing i'm thinking that i need here's some text and now i've picked it up so i should have used that as well but i'm cheating a bit do I want to use that there? Is it too many things all going the same way? Do I want to bring it across? Do I want to have just a little bit of it? I could do that. I just have a little bit of it. So it, I'm, I set the rules so I can cheat if I want to. But doing this is a really nice fun way to just use up your bits of collage material and also possibly from time to time spark an idea. Not always. Uh, sometimes nothing comes of it and that's all right too. Yeah, or sometimes you look back ages later and say, oh, I like the way I put pattern against text there. I might do more of that. then I could draw on this and I haven't got any paints out at the moment but like I said sometimes I might paint over some of it too and then I'll just leave it. It's not, this is a really quick exercise. This is not like lots and lots of thought. And I really like that scrap that was left. But that's a very bold scrap. If I use that, um, I, I'm allowed to choose the first starting piece without that tying me down. And then after that, I have to respond. So sometimes I see a piece and I think, no, that's too nice to waste in the sketchbook. I'll keep it. Um, I'm trying to find a first piece here, something that can be the basis for the rest of it. I'm always doing things up that point downwards, so I'm going to try and do something where it's primarily going across. Let's see how that goes. that scrap so I'll use it in a different way that's the bit one of the bits I cut off now I'm thinking this one could just be different kinds of language that I don't understand or at least that could be the basis for it so we've got now like now this nice cross shape going on I don't think this is not fully transparent whatever this paper was made on somebody gave me this paper so uh, I really should get a scraper or something for this glue and you can ask me what kind of glue I'm using 
So here I'm going to start with this piece, which is some lovely handwritten, like calligraphy type marks that somebody sent me. And also this, which somebody else sent me, which is a big piece of paper, like newsprint that they painted on. Now, I like a cross like that, but I don't want to cover up those nice letters. So I'm wondering about cutting it in half. So that I can continue. Moving about. Like, does that look right? Not really. But it needs to be further down. Something like that. Maybe putting them all at an angle to create something a bit more dynamic. Like I say, use something else for your glue if you're not as messy as me. Really don't have the patience because I always put it down. If I get a scraper, I'll put it down and lose it. If I get a brush, it gets gunked up and um, sometimes something like this. Two pieces might, you know, two different pieces might be enough, but usually I keep going a bit more than that. I love collaging with paper that other people have made because it just it's something different it's not me and then it might be nice to put a little pop of colour in there and I know in my scrap box I have some of this which is I think it came off a billboard or something I'm going to cut a random piece out and then I have to use that random piece I can make it smaller if I want to Maybe I do want to make it smaller. Uh, I've moved all this is too far down the page. We'll just have to picture as if it's gone further up. I could make it go further up. Right. Drawing some of that in. how you just know which way you like it best don't mean one's right and wrong it just means that's the way i like it best uh what else if i take some of that paper off there it'll make it look a bit less bottom heavy also it's nice the torn edge against the sharp edge so always looking for a difference different things in the pieces to add some variety and interest really not sure about that I think it's just too much so while it's still wet I can probably take some of it off feeling better about it now it was too big I can always save those bits for something else and it's feeling a bit bottom heavy like there's nothing coming across here but I don't want anything really big and heavy up there because we've already got this so try balancing that with another piece of that paper going up there that will be something different now i've picked it up of course the rule is that i'm supposed to use it but i can always break my own rules that's quite nice balances it out better down there I don't want it to be on the same level as that or it's not enough contrast again in size and shape so it's a great exercise for practicing composition and design just using scraps of paper like this and you're not using anything precious like this you could even you can use a much cheaper sketchbook than i'm using i like this book i like the size of it i like the spiral bound but 
you could use something that's much less expensive. And then the whole thing is just the cost of the glue. So now I've done, in a very short amount of time, made two little exercise collages uh, with varying degrees of success. I much prefer this to this. And so it's interesting then to think about why. What do I prefer? Why do I prefer that to that? And that's all part of teaching yourself as well. I think it's because it's only a tiny pop of saturated colour as opposed to this big blob here. And it's less busy. There's a lot more going on on this. So if I wanted to now, I could simplify this and see if I could like it better. And I do that by just getting some white paint or other collage materials, but usually white paint and covering some of it up. Well, that's my exercise that I do with my scrap collage scrap box, my trusty collage scrap box, ever growing, always adding new bits to it. That's it for me this week. If you would like to come and join us on the free course that I'm running in June, please do. You will find the link above, below with this video in the description somewhere. Just click the link, add your name to the list and you'll be notified where the materials list and schedule closer to the date. We start on June the 3rd and it's seven days long and we would really love to have you. So I hope to see you there. Take care. Bye bye.